Today I'll be making a game about ducks because ducks are pretty cool. After about 15 or so minutes of programming, I finally got player movement up and running. So I'm going to use this time to explain to you what this game is about. You're going to have three different colored ducks and they're going to be running across the street, screen. And then you're going to have to pick them up and bring them back to their hand before some wolf eats them or, or before time runs out. I haven't really decided yet, but we'll get to it when I get to it. Next, I got to work programming a script which made green ducks randomly spawn across the screen. Now all I have to do is copy and paste that code, but change the variables to include blue and the red ducks. So as you can see on the screen, right about now, you should see little ducks running everywhere. And I mean, I think they look pretty cute. But they are a little fast, so I'll have to tweak that. In just a few relatively simple lines of code, I successfully got a system working where you could pick up ducks and bring, carry them around and stuff. Uh, next, I got to work designing the nests. Um, apparently, ducks do live in nests sometimes. Uh, I didn't really know that, but uh, yeah, the more you know. Uh, yeah, they're, they're really ugly, but I'm going to get to work implementing them into the game right now. So now you should be seeing the final product. Um, now all I have to do is add the green and red variants into the game and then I'll probably also add an enemy because right now the game is pretty boring and there really isn't much of an, of an objective except for seeing those cool particles which were made in the Game Maker Particle system added into the game. So yeah that's pretty much the basic gameplay loop. Now all I have to add is a menu and an enemy and some way to beat the game which shouldn't take very long um, I've only been working on this game for probably two or three hours and I've already done all this so I'd say I've made pretty pretty good progress so yeah I'm pretty happy with it as you can see right now I have a fully functioning menu with an exit button that works and I also where, where, where's my tab and I also have a play button that works now the only problem is when I click start these three nests will spawn in the exact same place every game and I've got no clue why because as you can see in the code it has an I random range which basically means it's going to select a random value from the two given ranges um, I've got no clue why it doesn't work so I have some professionals and they'll get back to me in a little bit so there's this little bad boy called randomize and basically what it does is it changes the seed every time you load the game what I was doing is whenever I clicked play I was just loading the same seed as I had before, which meant that there was no variation at all. Um, also, thanks to that random guy in Discord who helped me out. Great news, guys. I finally got I and I save loading working, which basically meant whenever I closed the game, it would still keep my high score. So as you see in the corner, it still keeps my high score, even though I've already shut down the game. Um, this usually takes several hours, well not that long, but it, it's usually pretty complicated and I got it working in like five minutes like on my first try. I've got no clue how that worked, but I'm so glad it worked out because I've been working on this game all day long and I've got such a headache. So I'm glad that was really easy and simple and it's a very essential thing I need to have in my game. So I'm glad I got that down. Now the only thing left I have to do is add enemies into the game and then we're all ready to ship. Next, I got to work drawing a cute fox because who doesn't love cute foxes? Basically, what the fox would do is it would hunt down the ducks because apparently foxes really like to eat ducks. So you would have to try and collect the ducks before the fox went and ate them. But to add this into the game, I was going to add probably around three foxes, one for each color of duck. And um, I was also going to increase the number of ducks on screen and how close they are together. Just as I thought the game was finished, I found another bug. Basically, whenever I deposited a duck, it's like 50,000 ducks spawned, which would be pretty nice in real life, but not great when you're trying to make a video game. So, today was a very busy day, but by the time you're viewing this video, the game should be published. So if you want to, please check it out in the link in the description. So basically, I spent probably 5 or 6 hours today working on this game. And right now, what I have is pretty much the entire game. All I have to do now is make music, which is going to be fun. <laughs> so yeah, basically, ducks will spawn. You can bring them to their nests, but their nests have to be the same color as the duck, and they don't have to be eaten by a fox. So yeah, pretty cool.
Thank <phone> you. <rings>